back to the grand slam channel today is monday june 10th hope you all had a great weekend we got a light day today we only have a couple games for mlb as well with wnba nba doesn't return till wednesday i believe or thursday uh tomorrow we do have a full slate of mlb to be honest not much on the slate today at least far as far as value uh most of the props have been way bumped uh, I am going to go with five props. Some of you may have gotten a protected play. P Price Picks is holding a promotion. Seven days of protected plays. The value unit size would depend uh, of how much you bet. So it's a free roll. You got nothing to lose. I do have a five man for day one of the protected play. I got three MLB and two WNBA. Remember, tell if you want. It's a protected play. It's a free roll. So I'll take my chances. Let's get started. MOB, I'm going to go straight to strikeouts. First one that pops up for me is Kyle Harrison. He is at 4. Other platforms, they have him at 3.5. So you're getting some good value on other platforms. Worst case scenario in this one, he pushes. Uh, going against the Astros, I do have him projected at 5. Uh, Daily Grind Fantasy disagrees with me. He has him going under. Uh, I'm going to go with my gut instinct. It's protective play, so I'll be taking the over. Next up, I'll be taking is Kerbin Burns. 6.5 you can see it's a popular play uh most people I bet a majority of the public have it going over going against the race Kerbin burns hasn't struck it out as much as the previous seasons he is in the american league for the first time uh i'll be taking the under he needs seven to beat us uh the rays are a pesty team uh, they don't strike out very much uh, but they haven't seen Kerbin burns uh so that might be tricky which is a big reason why it's a popular play i'm gonna be taking the under at 6.5 Next up I'll be taking is Dylan Seas. He had he is at eight. Worst case scenario, it pushes. It's also a popular play. Uh, going against Oakland, Oakland does strike out a lot. I can see this going over. I'm gonna be taking the under. He needs nine to beat us. Worst case scenario, it pushes. As you can see he's only gone over uh, once against the Yankees at nine. He usually averages between seven and nine strikeouts. He is going against Oakland. Uh, Oakland has faced him before. He was in the American League for quite some time. Uh, I have him projected to get seven strikeouts. Uh, Daily Grand Fantasy probably disagrees with me. Uh, but I'm going to be taking the under here. Worst case scenario pushes. But like I mentioned, protective play, free roll. I'll take my chances. Next up, we're going to head on to WNBA. We only have two or three games. Uh, so not much on the board. We have Indiana and Connecticut and then we got I think that's the only game we have for WNBA uh, So just one game on the slate. So a very light day uh, But I'm just gonna take advantage of the promo that price picks will be offering with the protected play So for this one, I'm gonna go straight to rebounds and I'll be taking Alyssa Smith at 8 I expect this prop to get bumped to 8.5. I'll be taking the over Daily Grand Fantasy does have it at 52% hit rate to go over. Uh, so I expect that prop to get bumped. Hopefully you guys get it at 8. Next up is a points prop. And I'm going to be taking Brianna Jones. Caitlin Clark has been up and down. Not sure what I'm going to do with her yet. Uh, I'm probably going to fade her. Uh, she has some great games and sometimes she just has some stinker games. She does have a big uh, issue with turnovers. Obviously it's her first season in the league. Uh, but I'm going to be taking Brianna Jones at 13. She's been averaging about 14 to 16 points a game. Uh, so we got push equity going against Indiana. Indiana, does, it's the bottom of the standings. Uh, so I'm going to take Brianna Jones. I do have a projector to get 15 points in this one. So I'll be taking the over on that. And that is my protected play. Going light, not doing many slips. Uh, just taking advantage of the promos. But these are the top five I'll be going with with the protected play. Some of these are... 50 50 some of them will be taking the over uh, at least the most majority of the public will be taking the overs on these uh, but i'm gonna fade the public and go with my instinct please like subscribe and comment appreciate the support it was an awesome week for kbo once again we won five of six days unfortunately it was the same day we chalked and it was saturday uh saturday evening games uh so back to back weeks we've gone five of six CS2, we've been up and down. Uh, we did have a protective play. We did cash on that. We believe we went three of uh, four or five. We double up on that protective play. I'll see you guys in the next one.